We are creating a typical head-on accident at typical speeds with typical cars, except they're remote controlled. The tension is high. To capture the carnage in as much detail as possible, we've got three ruggedized ultra-high-speed film cameras, three digital cameras normally used for military research, and a camera the size of a thimble transmitting the onboard view, all in order to show you what you never normally see. Despite our non-scientific approach, our operation has caused quite a stir in crash-testing circles, and the Millbrook Research Facility's Andrew Beach has come to observe. Would have been no survivors. Airbags would not have helped. So Andy, what, what was here that isn't there anymore? Well, you can see because the vehicles didn't actually head on, that on this side of the vehicle, which wasn't hit, you can see the wheel, the suspension and the front structure. But that beam, isn't that beam pretty solid? It is, but look at this side. The whole of the wheel's been pushed back, the suspension has gone. That beam has been crushed back, just like it was a bit of tin foil. And there's no better news for the beamer. Steering wheel's, like, right in. There's no room between the front seats and the back seats. That's right, just look at the amount of crush you've got here, the deformation in the A-pillar, how that's been pushed right back. The wheel has been pushed right back into where the uh, driver's feet would be. And if you look to see the engine, the engine really hasn't moved that much, it's more or less where it was. So that shows that when the two cars collided, the engine, the front structure and the engine didn't really take a lot of the energy. It's only when the cars impacted in this area that the actual work started to be done and most of the energy has been absorbed here and as you can see that's resulted in a lot of defamation. So Andy, I mean, these cars are what, 10 years old, I mean, are modern designs any better at surviving these sort of accidents? Yes, modern cars are designed to undergo what's called an offset test where we actually deliberately only impact half of the vehicle width. So the sort of damage that you see here would be less on a modern car, but I have to say this 60 mile an hour test uh, compared to we test at 40 or legally 35 miles an hour is still way above what a modern car would be able to survive. 